him. Today I have a very special story for you. I read it as a young child and it's called A Plump and Perky Turkey. I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I enjoyed when my sweet old Mama Betty used to read this to me as a child. Plump and Perky Turkey. A Plump and Perky Turkey. A Plump and Perky Turkey. A Plump and Perky Turkey. The people in Squawk Valley were downhearted and depressed. Thanksgiving was approaching without a special guest. <clears throat> they couldn't find a turkey for the feast they planned to eat. It looks like they'd be making do with bowls of shredded wheat. A plump and perky turkey is what we need, they all agreed. But finding turkeys nowadays is very hard indeed. The birds have gotten smarter and they seem all quite aware that it's best to disappear when autumn leaves are in the air. A plump and perky turkey, stomachs rumble at the thought. But how to trick a turkey into jumping in the pot? Then Ebenezer Beezer had a thought pop in his head. If we can't find a turkey, let's have one find us instead. We'll hold an arts and crafts fair, he declared with a wink and a grin. A fair with one grand turkey prize that all of us could win. <clears throat> and since our goal is turkey, that's the theme we'll take to heart. We'll fill our fair with folks and fun and lots of turkey art. We'll make turkeys out of Buds out of paper, out of soap. Well, my turkeys out of oatmeal. Oh, I definitely said that wrong. <laughs> Hold on, let me adjust my glasses. <sighs> we'll make turkeys out of spuds, out of clay, and out of rope. We'll make turkeys out of oatmeal, out of paper, out of soap. We'll hang a bunch of posters in the forest way down low and invite some turkey candidates to model for our show. Why, even turkeys understand, as everybody knows. You can't make turkey art without a turkey that opposed. The people in Squawk Valley held a poster jamboree. They plastered their creations onto every single tree. Now what happened in Squawk Valley lived a turkey known as Pete. He was cocky and he was clever and he really liked to eat. While he strutted through the forest plump and perky through the pines. He was startled and intrigued by all those interesting signs. With a proud and jaunty gobble, he gave out a hearty cry. A plump and perky turkey, well I'm sure I'll qualify. Pete plied a <laughs> Pete applied for the position. And he strutted plump and proud. He could hardly wait to model for the large and eager, eager crowd. You're hired, Ebenezer said. For all the folks had agreed that Pete the Perky Turkey was the answer to their need. Twice the week before Thanksgiving, when Pete posed to do his part, and the artsy craftsy townsfolk started making turkey art. They made turkeys out of spuds, out of clay, and out of rope. They made turkeys out of oatmeal. Out of paper, out of soap. Thanksgiving Day, the artwork done, they asked the model down to judge their homemade turkeys and pick the best in town. Now, when the judging's over, Beezard whispered with a smile, We'll tuck that model turkey in the oven for a while. Hmm, wonder what's gonna happen next. Oh! He judged each piece of artwork as the hungry crowd all cheered. But then they stopped to take a closer look, and then he disappeared. There were turkeys made out of spud, there out of clay, and out of rope. There were turkeys made of oatmeal, out of paper, out of soap. The room was full of turkeys in a wall-to-wall -wall collage. And for a clever bird like Pete, it was a perfect camouflage. 
He's over here! Old Beezer said. He's here! Said Jacob Green. They searched among the turkeys, but the bird had fled the scene. And a note in turkey scrawl they have found half hidden in the lawn. Goodbye, I took my modeling fee. The oatmeal bird was gone. The people in Squawk Valley were feeling rather blue. The only turkeys left in town appeared too hard to chew. Even for a guy with those kind of teeth, it was too hard to chew. Oh well, said Pisa brightly as they gathered round to eat. Right now, at least I'm thankful that we still have shredded wheat. That day, folks learned a lesson that stuck firm with them forever. A plump and perky turkey is pretty doggone clever. I really hope you guys enjoyed my rendition of a plump and perky turkey. And I hope you, this Thanksgiving, give thanks for your family. Make sure you give your own grandfather pappy a hug and a kiss this Thanksgiving. Now, I'm going to get to my own turkey roast. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. <clears throat> Thank you for joining me. I can't see what I'm quite doing here. What, what a... Oh, there we go. <clears throat> oh, it's already recording. Oh, pip, pip. <laughs> <laughs>